So I hear you're running a catering business now. Oh yeah, it's just temporarily. You guys any good? Not bad. And how much would one have to pay for your culinary services? Depends on the type of food, number of people, kind of venue. Simple food, two guests, my mother's living room. Really? I have a visitor coming in from out of town, and I thought it would be nice to serve her a catered meal. Her? Actually, she was my brother's ex-girlfriend, Lulu. Good name. I had sort of a crush on her for a while, and she's coming home to visit her mother, and she called me. Kirk, you have a date. No, just an appointment to take Lulu to dinner. That's a date. I don't have high hopes for it, if that's what you're thinking. Kirk, it's very sweet. But are you sure you want to have dinner in your living room? Well, the breakfast nook doesn't seem festive enough. Right, but while you're having dinner in your living room, where will your mother be? Probably in the living room. Is that what you really want? To have dinner with your mother watching? I could ask her to face the wall. Or you could take Lulu out to a restaurant. Which one? Well, what is she like? I don't know. Should I call my brother and find out? I think if he knew, she'd probably still be with him. I just really want it to be nice. Just take her someplace where you're comfortable. It doesn't have to be fancy. If you like it, she'll like it. Okay. Just not one attached to a bowling alley. That narrows it down a bit. I'll figure something out. Good, you'll see, it'll be great. Do you think I could stop by tomorrow with some wardrobe choices for you to pick out? Kirk, you can dress yourself. Just look nice, you know, not too fancy, clean. No jeans. Ooh, maybe a, a sport coat. 11 sound good? Perfect. What are you doing, Kirk? Say I was Tom Cruise, where would you seat me? In an acting class. No, I mean, which do you consider the best seat in the house? I don't know. How are the acoustics here? What? Well, the bathrooms are right over there. One good loud flush and the entire mood is spoiled. I don't have time to kill you right now, Kirk. Come back in a couple of hours. All right, I'll just reserve these three tables and decide later. Reserve these three... For Wednesday night, 8 o'clock. We don't take reservations, Kirk. But this is a special occasion. And Lorelai told me to go somewhere I'm comfortable, and I'm comfortable here. You are? Well, not at this moment, but previously I have been comfortable here. Please? What's the occasion? I have a date with a young lady. You really felt the need to add the with a young lady part? Kinda. Okay, you can have one table for eight o'clock. Thank you, here. What's this? It's a diagram of how I would like the table set up. See, little flowers by her plate and the champagne bucket over here so I don't accidentally knock it off the table with my elbow. I don't sell champagne, Kirk. Why not? Because this is a diner. Good champagne goes with everything. Get your own champagne, Kirk. But what about the flowers? Kirk. Okay, fine, I'll get the champagne and the flowers. Now, let's say the date goes well. How much for the place upstairs? You mean my apartment? Yes. Bye, Kirk. Okay, see you later. Excuse me, is that good? Yes. And what is that? Meatloaf. Okay, so this meatloaf, is it a romantic food for you? I mean, is it getting you hot? Kirk! Good talking to you. Cheeseburger, onion rings, and a list of people who killed their parents and got away with it. I'm looking for heroes. How'd the tasting go? You've got the job. Would've been pathetic if you hadn't. I can't do this. It's a gig. Yes, it is a gig. It's Prince opening for the Rolling Stones. That's the kind of gig it is. Luke? Yeah. What's Kirk doing? Practicing. Hmm. For what? His date, he's doing a test run, talking, eating, making conversation. Then he's gonna go home and review the tape and adjust from there. Boy, you ever think of how many different ways Kirk could get kicked out of the army? What a poor slob. He's pathetic. He likes a girl, that's sweet. All day long, I have this crazy person sitting in my diner ordering everything off the menu, by the way, to see which meal has less crumb to sweater ratio. Well, if he's bugging you that much, you can ask him to leave. You ask him to leave, it's your fault he's here. How is it my fault? I'm not going out with him. You're the one that told him to find some place he felt comfortable. How did I know he felt comfortable here? I don't know. All I know is that you talked to him, and now he's over there talking to a camera. Oh, come on, Luke, give him a break. He wants the date to go well. I mean, it's all any of us wants, to find a nice person to hang out with till we drop dead. Not a lot to ask. I guess. And look on the positive side. If Kirk's date goes well, he'll be occupied and we'll be seeing a lot less of him at the diner. Cut! Okay, that sucked. Let's just go again, right away. Focus. Focus. I'll have his monogram booth installed tomorrow. <laughs>